sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. Welcome back into the Fairbanks Evening News, everyone, and back to weather. Mike Schultz with you once again for a look at uh, what's going on across the interior. You might see some of these tonight. This was taken last night in Toke from Katie Turk, Aurora's, and we might have a pretty good chance of seeing some tonight. We'll tell you more about that later on. As far as what's going on at the airport, Ryan, 21 degrees for a high today, 14 currently. The low last night, a very chilly 22 and below. There's your record high and record low contrast of 45 and 46 below. Sunrise, 8.09 this morning. Sun sets this evening at 7.54, giving us 11 hours, 45 minutes of daylight. That's a gain of seven minutes from yesterday. Our satellite picture showing one area of low pressure, but it doesn't have a whole lot of energy with it. So most of it's going to stay way to the south. In fact, as you can see, north of the Alaska Range, we're looking real good. Lots of clear skies. Elsewhere across the state, here's what it looks like. And as you can see, we're looking up. Oh, we'll go there. We'll go the... Uh, now we'll go to the, what's happening across the rest of the state. You can see lots of sunshine across the interior around the Gulf Coast. A little shower activity around Ketchikan. Some snow flurry activity at Barrow. And clear skies at Fort Yukon. Lower 48 weather tonight. Not a whole lot to talk about. No big storms at least. A little rain over the Pacific Northwest. Nice weather over the Southwest. As you move to the east, getting into a little more rain around the New York area. On our satellite and radar, well, actually... Our jet stream, as you can see here, looking at a big, strong jet stream drive, diving down from the northwest and bringing all that cold air down across the central plains and across the Great Lakes. So looks like a snowy weekend for the folks there. All right, back to Alaska for tomorrow. First of all, look at that satellite picture I was telling you about. As you can see, we're looking at some showers over the northwest, and there's the storm system that's moving across the Great Lakes. All right, now for tomorrow, over the northern section, sunny skies in uh, Barrow with uh, winds at both Fort Yukon and Barrow. Snow showers at Nome. Here in the interior, we'll be looking at uh, sunshine, abundant for both Fairbanks and Healy. Over the southeast sections, it looks like snow showers at Juneau with rain showers in Ketchikan. Out to the southwest, we'll be looking at cloudy skies at Bethel, a few clouds in Cold Bay, and snow showers at Kodiak. And over the south central regions, it looks like rain and snow showers at Homer, otherwise clouds at Anchorage and Valdez. It's a Friday night, which means it's time for our winter trails report. As you can see, your temperatures will be warming, uh, giving a, a great opportunity for all outdoor activities. This is going to be a fantastic weekend. All the slopes are going to be great. The cross-country trails will be fast, and snow machiners are going to be in seventh heaven. All right, here's your forecast for tonight. 15 below, clear skies with auroras possible. Tomorrow's forecast, looking at it's 17 above. Another day like today, just lots of sunshine. And the extended forecast, not much change on the overall picture there. Temperatures once again around 20 degrees each day. Also looking at overnight lows, uh, not too chilly. Right about this should be this time of year, around 10 to 12 below. And no precipitation in the forecast.